check from within. Second one to do, to know which how to go to, to break into motives of income. Check from within. I mean your internal treasures. What are the things that are innate that God has wired to do? Check from within. For instance, all I do to do is what I'm doing. I talk and I write. Not more than that. That's all. And I don't have any other ambition. I don't wish to be anything else outside talk, write. All my life. At 102, I promise you, I'll still be, right. I'll still be talking and writing. Did you say amen for me? Yeah. I will remind you because you will not die that time too. I'll remind you. That's all. That's man. I don't want to be general overseer. I don't want to be governor. I don't want to be president. God forbid. God to limit me from doing this work. When I make, when my name came up one time to, to occupy, occupy a, 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 a very particular position, I asked God, "Does it mean you will suspend the mandate you gave to me? Find out your own. Reduce to just two things: speaking and writing. That is what He has given to do, and that's what I will do for life. No other ambition. Mention me to be mind director now or first bank. That's a distraction. I don't want sir. We want to dash you, governor. I'm sorry. I don't want. It will limit me. This is all I want to do for life. Just allow me, please. Glory be to God. I have found my own. You also find your own. If you have prayed, no answer. You have checked. You can't find anything. Number three, check from without. Check from around you. What are you doing now for others that you can do for yourself? What are the areas of training and experience you have passed through? Is there anything you can nurture to growth? Yes, you can expand for what you are doing presently. Is there anything? That is how to go to motives of income. Is there anything I can nurture? Is there anything I'm doing for others that I can do for myself? For instance, I was group human resource manager. One particular time, my company went to do went to do job evaluation after for, after salary reviews, and the consultant came was charging so much money. And I told my 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 my, my group uh, MD, say sir, let me attend one two trainings on this subject, and I will do it for the company. Is that so? The training I went for was less than five percent of what consultant was asking for. Just one week training. And I came back and I did it for the company and solved the problem. They were so happy. But I gave them the original. I had my photocopies of what I did. Soon after I left for my own business on God's instruction, I was before my boss, I mean my client. He said, Mr. I know, this is what I'm thinking of doing. I said, that's my area. Wow. You can do it very much, sir. If the man said, say, how much will you collect that time? That was 1990. 1993, 1992 or 1993, thereabout. If you ask how much we collect, I would have told him 10,000 naira. Because the work there, if I'm to do it, it will cost me about 200 naira to photocopy the work, which I've just done recently, and just change the, the figures to match their industry. That's all I need to do. So, so maybe with we, we, we binding and everything, I may have spent about 1,000 naira. So if they give you 10K for 1K job, is that not okay? To have a good profit. If the man has said, please, let me pay you 5,000. If I agree, he said, bad business. He said, okay, see me on Monday to come and talk about it. As a businessman, don't spend the entire week running from pillar to post. I spend one day every week. When I don't go out, I stay before God to pray from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. This is the time I speak in tongues. From 8 o'clock, speaking in tongue, and, and I begin to present to God the proposals ahead of me for the following week. All of those, all of those times, I ask God, Lord, this man says to come and see me on Monday. What should I say when I get there? I had God talk to me and say, when you get there, tell him your fee is 250,000 naira. Ah. God, if I had told him 10,000 and he paid me, it would be good business. I would have paid tight. He said, tell him 250k. You know why? That's why all this should be your consultant. Consult the Holy Spirit. He knows the right price. He knows your worth. 
Even when I told my wife, he couldn't believe. He said, ah, ah pastor, only, only. 10,000 to 250K. I said, you will hear that. You know that I hear God. I appeared before the man. He says, hey, Mr. Adam, let's talk. I said, sir, your fee is 250K. 250,000 naira. He said, no, we are friends now. Please help me. Help me. We are friends. Okay. Because we are friends, I wish I have not changed. I said, okay, I'll, I'll collect 180K. Ah, he was very happy. On one condition, I need all front payments. Because somebody at home who must see that uh, I have God. He called the accountant. They gave me a check immediately. I said, it took me two weeks to make it to look uh, serious. I want to go and do more research. British Council got more facts. Embellish it. Make it color. I think I spent about 2,000 naira on that job. A second summary. Binding it. By the time I took it to the company, say this is beyond our expectation. This is international standard. The man that for a live talkie. Live talkie to add to my fee. Hallelujah. Yes, check from without. That's what I was doing where I was. Now I'm out. I can go ahead and do the same thing. Without stabbing them. It was another industry altogether. That is multiple source of income. Number three. Seek competent and expert advice. Seek competent and expert advice. Find people who have proofs, who have experience, who have expertise in, on that line you are going into. Proverbs 12, 15 says, Proverbs 12, 15 says, a fool thinks he needs no advice, but a wise man listens to others. Anything you want to do, some other person have been doing it. Don't go and do it and begin to, you cannot reinvent the wheel. You can only improve on it. Find out who has done it. Ask for advice. Holy Ghost is your, is, is, is your chief advisor. Ask him, Lord, what do I do? Then he has placed some people around, either with their books, either with their books or with their tapes. For instance, if you, if you go to your YouTube now and you write there, Albert I know TV, just on your YouTube search, Albert I know TV, you're going to see over 150 videos. Just do that, Albert I know TV on your YouTube. Subscribe. See about 150 videos on real estate, on how to start your own business, on how to prosper in your so many things. Leadership, ministry, you're going to find it there. I've learned for you free. Google again. How do I do this one? These are your consultants. They'll give it to you. Don't just go to a place like an illiterate. Find out those who have done it. Don't be, a, don't be ashamed to go for apprenticeship. Go and learn more to be better. To get it better. Glory be to God. I was in the U.S. trying to come down to back, back home when I met somebody who was talking in the area of internet radio. That's it was just coming. Internet radio, things like that. Online business. I'm as, it was just talking. I said, great. I was already on my way to the airport. So I got to my, to my wife. I said, ah. And the man said, you'll be landing in Lagos for a month. Say, my dear, let's go after him. We went to, we spent so much money. We spent about 600k that time to acquire, or say we should acquire for information and knowledge. Yeah. But boy, we are better for it now. If you Google now, Albert I know on Amazon, you see the work of that investment. Yeah. And it's for life. I don't have to do any other thing except to keep on changing the price. That's the only work I'm doing for that. Praise God. <laughs> My top put a um, twelve dollar. I said no, no. It's this particular book you are selling for twenty dollars. This one should go the equivalent. That that's all I do. Change it. Let let me see. And people are asking for it because it has is blessing the world. That's my area. I'm still a pastor, full time pastor. Don't forget. <laughs> Praise the Lord. There are the books you are having there now in Naira. Find out. It was from what? Asking for somebody ready to spend money. I paid the man for his expertise, even though he's a pastor. <laughs> so it's not free. Because by the time I teach you now, you become, you're on your own. You don't come to me again. But so don't even want to pay consultants. 
good enough, Google is there to teach you free. Number four, diversify. Don't forget, we're talking about money wise strategies in critical times like this. Diversify your learning, broaden your competence. Diversify your learning, broaden your competence. You know, words, learn new traits. Learn new traits. Acquire new skill. Get familiar with new trends. New technology in your field. What am I saying? Learn and do work. This thing that is your hobby, can you turn the hobby to money-making fun? This offer is a fun. Can you turn it to a money-making fun? Still fun, but not money-making. Learn something else. Diversify. Don't be imprisoned by your discipline. Don't let your education become your limitation. Wake up. Learn something else. One time, I called a tiler to tile when we went to our house some years ago. It's about 14, 15 years ago now. I called the tiler. Tiler knows a big book. Does not, does not even speak English well. Just some little pigeon. I said, how much is this it cost? He said, well, my labor is 90,000. 90,000 watts? Which a branch manager of a bank was not collecting that time. 2009. Ha. 90K? See, that's my labor. No, what about the 10K? You buy it yourself. Ah, 90K? He says, I want everybody to do it. My apprentice will do it. Because the jobs I do are not this one. Ah, he was bluffing. I was shocked. He was a Christian. My, we were, uh, my, my, my electrician, Mohammed, I can't forget that guy. He don't go to school. Mohammed, where are you in my house? And he loved, he said, I love something about you. You are very open. He said, I, say, I enter your bedroom anyhow. I go to your ceiling. He said, it's not so like every house. He said, because there's nothing to hide. There's nothing for me to hide. I said, and the way you are serving me, Mohammed, I'm so impressed with you, but you need Jesus Christ. I led Mohammed to Christ. I said, Christ is my place. I said, for what you have done for me now, I want to bless you. The Lord will give you one job equivalent of all one year work. You don't, it's not the meaning. You say amen. You know what happened? When, when that prayer is answered in Mohammed, just within one or two months, Mohammed was courting with his father, with his parents, scotting. He was a bloody bachelor, scotting with his, uh, with his parents. Could not afford the room yet. But prayer have gone ahead of him. Mali would get a call in Portacourt. He did not come back to Lagos until after six to seven months. He was given a whole plaza. Okay? To wire. A whole shopping complex to wire. By the time Mohammed returned back to Lagos, he saw a property. It was consulting me. So a property. Self-contained property and two bedrooms for sale. Mohammed put his money down and bought it at once. A squatter, now landlord. He says, sir, I will try to give the one, the one bedroom flat as a, for, for, for tenants. He now came to and says, sir, I want my house to be like your house. I say, how? Because that time I have about 16 trees planted around my house. 16 trees. Some of the trees are about four-story building. Some trees in my house. No, it's a garden. When you come there, it's a garden. I love to go home. Praise the Lord. It's a garden. So I want to, now start taking some seedlings from my house to go and be planting now in his house. Praise the Lord. I say, praise the Lord. The same encounter you are getting from this day in the name of Jesus. Just be open. It can happen anytime like this because this is my calling. This is my grace. I've been to places where I'm going to minister. As so people say, just sir. When you think just come and walk around our place of work, because the man has a filling station by the roadside, filling station that is not selling. Is it possible? He said, it's not, it's not selling. It's not bringing money in. Just come and walk around the place, and it's enough. No need for prayer. I was in protocol to minister for one week, uh, training for, for ministers, and pastors were taking turns. Sir, it's my turn tomorrow. 
it's my turn after uh, doing the break i'll just go and walk around their church premise that's what they wanted they have sensed the grace you follow me just come and walk around our our place of service that's enough they call me back for the year come back again this time around the whole of the uh, cac churches in the whole of rivers river states and Bayesa came together and i was the main speaker straight from the from the airport to the altar only speaker three times preaching every day for five days back to the airport come again next year sir glory be to god same grace is available this this, this week in the name of jesus ensure you don't miss any of these events because you don't know when you will come that's how Muhammad got his own breakthrough he married of course quick he married quick <laughs> Praise the Lord. Because landlord, he doesn't want to be staying in the house alone. He married quickly. You're learning. What am I talking about? There is something you can learn. All this, uh, this is what I studied, this is what I studied, this is what I studied. No! You're an engineer. Nothing is nearly anything again. But in your own head, you know, we have to go to, to buy a particular material for 30000 somewhere in Naba. I know where to come to Lagos and sell it for 100000 naira. You know what to do. But now you are still an, an engineer. I'm expecting a particular project from ND, 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 NDIC. Uh, I'm expecting something from, uh, from the new minister of uh, Federal Capital Credit Tree. It's my, it's my time, man. Ah, go and find something you can do with your hands. Go and learn something. One guy came and said, I have two one. Two one, uh, elect, elect. And for two years, no job was in the choir. I said, my dear, will you hear me? Go and learn how to wire a house. I can't call you with your letter. Let's come and wire my house. I don't want to risk fire outbreak. <laughs> Thank God it was humble enough. You don't, you don't feel insulted. Want to go and meet somebody who's not going beyond Paris to go and learn how to do the work. By the time he finished, brother, last time I heard of him was that he has finished his house. Next, he told me that I'm, I want to marry sir. I told him. If he has said he wants to marry with two, with a, uh, with first class, with no job, should I allow your daughter to marry him? A jobless first class graduate? A school sat older who has a job, who is something, is more qualified to get married than somebody who has master degree and is not doing anything. Ladies, am I talking? Because no finance, no romance. Is it true? With all the anointing, no finance, no romance. There is thing for money. And women don't like to suffer. Women don't like to suffer. They are not meant to suffer at all. If you look at them, the way God made them, they are not meant to suffer at all. Look at them, the way they are packaged. They look at them. They are not meant to suffer. See the face. See everything. But look at the face of the man next to you. <laughs> see <how> everything. <laughs> That's what God made them. Go just look at last week about the Amir. You went to go and for sand somewhere. One sand, pack together, sand, sand, put together. Yeah, that's enough. When it came to making a woman, not like that, too, took his time. Look at the very most delicate part in the man. Bring God those resources there, those materials, and created and fashioned a woman. Glory be to God. So, women are, so that's why men should work, oh, work hard. Go and learn something. You can be Barbie. Yes. A banker was working. We asked him, yeah, after this banker banking job is over, what is next? He said, I've not thought about it. Ha. Can you do something about two, three things? Can you do Babi? Eh? Babi? Yes. Babi and banking. They sound alike, Abi. I'm a Baba. I'm a banker. Thank God he took it. Oh. He took it as directed from his pastor. I said, How do I go, I go about your hey, competent advice? When you are coming from work, just call madam. I will not come home on time. Where are you going? I'm going to Babin School. You are used to going to banking school before. Now I go to work, Babin School. Now I go to your favorite Baba. That's what we always call, call for you. Sit down. Like my own Baba now. Does not have sign board. Does not need sign board. There's no, when you go there, you queue. I bought my hair there last week, Tuesday. Two weeks ago. No, last week, Tuesday. And on getting there, no space. But when they saw me, they stood up. When they saw me enter the place, they stood up. Ah! It was around. People stood up. They cleared the place. I, I went there with my son. They cleared two seats from say, This pastor must be done quickly. 
Amen. Because I've been with him for 14 years as customer. So many are appear. Oh, the pastor of that church. The pastor of that church. Praise the Lord. They cleared the way for me. He does not have sign boards. And there's no time you go there. I'm not talking about weekends. I say Tuesday. The place is always jam packed. Baba. So I told the master, why not? Why don't you go to such a baba? Sit down. Because he's a graduate, he's a bank, he knows what to look for. Begin to ask questions. If he's playing Bluedo, if he's playing draft, join him. Uh, which one is the best clipper? You are doing your research. How do you get shop? How much is the rent? How do you get apprentice? How do you check them from, from cheating you? How do you know when they have worked and they keep your money? How do you know? Those questions he asked for a whole month. When he now got everything. Next salary. He put, maybe he got adva, uh, uh, adva, uh, Is it? What do you call it? Is it advance? Salary advance. No, not salary advance. Up front. Up front. He got it and got, and got a shop. He kept the shop, put a small TV there, and got one of the apprentices of his baba to come and work there. Some of the, uh, those who have, who have got their freedom to come and work for him. And the work was going on. When he's coming back home, he knows what to check for. He goes there. And soon after, he opened a second shovel with the salary. He opened third shovel with the salary. The first shop he opened was on Allah Avenue. I know poor men don't go to Allah Avenue. No, there are babies and there are babies alone. There are places now that you do your hair for 12,000. Are you aware? Oh, how much are you doing in Abu Dhabi? 500 naira. Some places 12,000. In fact, the man said, some of my customers, they pay 15,000 naira to come and meet them in a hotel. He goes with a wireless paper. 15K. Yeah. To do the same here. That's Ali Avenue. At that time, his banking job was opening his barbing business. You know what he did? He now fired his boss to now hire himself. He stopped banking job and faced barbing job. Got to, organize, to, to oversee four shops. If you read my book, How to Fire Your Boss and Hire Yourself, you understand it? Eh? I wrote a book, How to Fire Your Boss and Hire Yourself. The young man now began that work, but because he's very intelligent, he's on the internet, he saw when they are having National Association of Babas Convention in the U.S. Took the next flight to go for the convention of Babas. He knew what to look for. He was just there. I said, please, can I, he got people are selling paper. They also are selling ointment. Can I be your look, can I be your representative in Nigeria for these products? You have anyone in Ghana? Let me come back Ghana for you too. You will get their franchise and come to Nigeria and begin to share clipper all over the country. The major shops went to Ghana. He became a West African distributor. Soon, he was getting the ointment and was doing his own in Nigeria. Of course, he landed a multi-millionaire. Multi-millionaire. May God show you your own in Jesus' name. Say, Oh Lord, show me my own field. Show me my own portion for prosperity in this land. In Jesus' name. So if someone says I'm a baba, some, some sister will not pray about it. Who to marry? Hey, uh, what's your job? I'm a baba. I'm sure you don't think about it. But you know what? We are babas. We are babas. Go and learn it. Do something more. Let this your children learn something. It's true, he's going to Afe Babla University. Let him he's going to Covenant University. Let him learn something. That's sense. It's only better. Diversify. Learn fireworks. I mean, what do you call, call this thing? Wirework, Abi. That in bid of women. You see wirework? Learn it. My wife organized it for women in our church. Bid making, uh, wireworks, uh, hats. He just copied from our, from, our, from our school. People in home economies. To come and teach people how to do wireworks, how to do this one. And they did it for five weeks. And such programs, no people that are many there, Muslims. Our people will not go. Pride. The people will target, they will not come. A lady was there with her car, a banker with master degree to go and learn this bead work. The person we targeted did not come. One day, she came to me with an envelope. When I checked, it was Pan Stalin. So what is this? So this is the result of what mommy did. Tell me how. He said, I finished my, my, my bead 
and the uh, hat put it by my, my, by my bedside. When a friend this there from London, say, I like this your thing, you. I'm taking it away. Okay, take it away. On getting their friends love it, they were not giving orders. Orders. Orders for more. Come, they send pan styling. He sent them this thing. Pan styling sent this thing. So from there, he gave me that pan styling. I won't tell you how much. Amen. I won't tell you how much because it's none of your business. I had to collect a form for the Messiah account in pastoring also. <laughs> Glory be to God. I get my point. That is somebody. He has not left Nigeria. Please, before you japa of understanding of what you are going for. So that's so why I don't japa and now kappa. Anyhow. You know, kappa, kappa means coming back. Japa is going there. <laughs> what are you going there for? Ear making. Breathing, how to do so. If you have those in your hand, anywhere you go, you'll be in hot demand. Doing here, time of this, um, I'm bent to are learning how to braid here now. If I men do it better, you yeah, are braiding. These are things that is for the new economy. How this your blue collar job? Thank God for you. Learn this thing. Number six, in fact, the Bible verse for that, Proverbs 18:5. Proverbs 18.5, Living Bible says, an intelligent man looks for new ideas. In fact, he seeks for them. Proverbs 11.5, Living Bible. Intelligent man looks for new ideas. Next, look at the businesses you can do part-time or at home. Talking about this critical time. Look for businesses you can do part-time or at home. There are 20 fantastic jobs. I mean, Business you can do. I just wrote this book. This is my 60th book. My 60th book, How to Retire Wealthy, Healthy, and Happy. This book should be read by anybody above 20. Because our finding is that it's almost too late not to be broke at 60 with no solid plan before you are 50. Things in this book is what I began to, 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 to practice from age 20, when still on campus. You can see the reason why I did not stay long on the queue. I got born again at 19. And three months after, the Lord opened my understanding why on, why, why on campus fellowship. That this is what you are to attain to do at 30, at 33. And when I put myself to read, so I pursue, so my own academy was different. My own NYC was different. By the time I said by 30, I should be this, I think I should be this. I know what? God answer it at 29. What I said I would do at 33. God answered me at 29. I show here how to retire wealthy, healthy, and happy. So if you are here under 80, under 90, buy this book. If you are here from 20 and above, have this book. It's about 400 pages. By the time I wrote it, it took me just two months to write. You know why? I've practiced it for 40 years. So it's not difficult to put it together. Inside it, I show you 20 fantastic businesses. You can do it less than 50,000 naira in Nigeria today. You want to hear them? You want to hear them? They are here. We don't have much time. Let me give you a snippet. For example, baking. Baking. Baking for people's bad day. Start small. Start enlarging yourself until you can do the very big one. Fast food, as simple as spaghetti. Fast food, as simple as small chops. Learn it. Find out who can teach you. Plantain chips is the fastest moving business in Africa. Plantain chips. Indians come to this country. They don't look for any job. They simply go to a bank to go and take loan. And they look for boys who can be hustling in that place on the road. How much they sell uh, plantain chips? Uh, How much? Or in error. They give to, to the boys who also plantain here, plantain chips. I know it'd be ashamed to talk. But they are, they are, you, uh, these are people that are making, it's making money. Oh. Is this on the photo trick? Oh. They are making real money. Because those people they'll give it to them at 15 naira. As when you sell it, the rest is your own. Maybe you are not getting that. Maybe someone else is middle man that collects it. That's it. And these guys for them, if they make 15 naira, if they make, and their profit, they just be 40 naira. 
these people. Forty naira, and they are able to sell ten thousand in a week. How much is that on Jerry? Help me, please. You should be fast with figures. That is one of the financial intelligence. How much is that one? Ten thousand in a day. Forty naira in a day. That's four hundred thousand naira. Am I correct? Four hundred k times five. Two million profit in a week. Is that a bad business? In a month, twenty million. And no money stays here. You go straight out there. They don't build any house. No, they rent, they lease. Fast food. Drinks and and, 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 and water. Drinks and water. A pastor was begging his members. I have pure water factory. Come and buy for me. No member went there. If you buy one, anything break, I'll give you a new one. Nobody goes there. But there's one malam in Yaba that collects this water. Profit on each, that time, I think was um, per bag, was 10 era that he was making. And this man collects 5,000 bags in a week. Profit of 10 era. How much is that one, please? Help me, please. 50K in a week. He employed graduates. I mean, he employed the school older as his clerk. 50K is what he's making per week. Praise the Lord. And they are they bread in the church. They are, they are right here. I'm looking for a job. I'm believing God for a job. Tell this person, tell this person, go and do something. Tell him, go and do something. Things like smoke fish, things like small scale farming can be at your backyard. I'm surprised to find kind of an area here without anything on top. All these grasses. Too surprised. That's my first. This is virgin land. See luscious green land. And what's on it? And nobody can come and ask pastor, let me take care of this place for you. I can become very clean for you. And just farm something small. Nobody's thinking about it. They don't even agree with you. But at least what I'm talking about is that when it's such a thing, it should address, it should attract you. Where you are living, if you even face me, I slap you. You can start snail farming. Snail can be breathed inside tire. Again, you find all those things inside this place.